In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a company milestone slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have just created a curved road where each milestones will come upon the mouse click. So when I click, you can see here the first milestone of the year 2000. You can add the detailed text here along with the title. And on my next click, it will show me the next milestone of 2005, then 2007, 2010, then 2015, 2017, and then the last milestone of 2020. So let's see how to do this creative slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides and enable the grid lines. Then go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select this one which is the freeform shape and you can see here i've got the grid lines and the guidelines in the center the horizontal and the vertical line so i'm going to take three lines from the left and three lines from the right so let's start from the center here just click and then hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line and you can see here i'm going to click again on the third line and then I'm going to drag this down. You can see here again, hold the shift key. And then this also, you just hold the shift key again, make it click it on the third line. So like this zigzag lines, I'm just going to make it. You can see here. Let me just do till this one here. Again, depending on your requirement, how much you need, you can just add that zigzag lines. This is kind of a road I'm just adding. You can see here. Again, the last one and this one I'm going to click till the end. You can see here and just double click. So you can see here, this is the shape I have created. You can see here, and then I'm going to shape outline. You can increase the weight or you can just simply right mouse click, go to format shape, and you can see here the line. Underline, just increase the width. You can see here, I'm just going to increase the width depending on your requirement. Maybe I will make it 24. And if you want, you can just change the color to any gray color, sorry, the line color to any gray color like this. Now select the effects you can see here, then go to 3D rotation. And from the preset, I'm going to select, you can see here the perspective, this one, which is the perspective relax moderately. And you can see here this, the shape you got it. And then I'm just going to, you can see here, I can just reduce the Y rotation. You can see here, if you do like this, or I want something like this, this is kind of a road actually, where I'm going to put the milestones. And then you can increase the perspective here. You can see here, widen the perspective. So you end up getting like this. If you want, you can reduce the size also, it doesn't matter. It will not have any impact. It will look something like this. And then again, you can make it in the center. But the problem is the road, uh, it cannot be like this. It has to be a curved road. So for that, what I can do is right mouse click, edit points. And you can see here, we have got the edit points here. And I'm just going to select this point first. You can see a click on this point. And you can see the white small square shape, just drag it outside, make it straight to the line. And you can see here it is become curved. I'm going to select the second one here and again drag this and make it straight. So you can see here you've got the curved line here. All right. So you have to do it till it becomes more a perfect line or the curve. Again, for this also, I'm just going to do the same thing. You can see here if you want, you can just increase the size also. You can see here it is more curved and it looks perfect all right and then i'm going to select this one let me just select this and again increase the size and i'm going to select this 
make it you can see here we started getting the curved road let me just click here and then i'm going to click here you can see here and then the this point i want to make it straight and this also i'm going to make it straight and the last one which is this one again make it more straight and yes so you can see here we have got the curved road now let me reduce the size further again hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit maybe this one and then go to effects i'm just going to increase the perspective maybe i'll make it uh, 100 so you can see here let me just put in the center yes so now i'm going to add the milestones so first of all go to insert shapes and i'm going to select this one from the basic shapes you can see here i'm going to select the pentagon not the pentagon sorry let me just select uh, the hexagon the six points so just select this one hold the shift key and shape outline i'm going to give a black color and shape fill you can just select any color and shape outline you can increase the weight and i'm going to rotate this one you can hold the alt key and right mouse click you can see here or the right uh, uh, arrow key on the keyboard and then you end up getting this like this just bring this on top and just put it here let me just zoom in see you have to have this kind of shape and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to make a pole for that select the rectangle hold the this one if you want you can make it alt also to make the small key size let me just put here give the same color shape outline make it no outline and then just send this to back and make sure that this is center aligned and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select a oval shape for the base you can see here make it black color shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to put exactly in the center and send this to back so you can see here let me just move a little bit yes so i'm going to select all these three shapes and press ctrl g to group it let me just zoom out so you can see here i can just put it one here and then you can add your ear and the detail text here so let me just remove this uh, grids and the guidelines and then i'm just going to insert text box I'm just going to add here I will just say for example 1995 center align make it bold and bring it in the center here on this board increase the size and if you want you can just change the font size a font color to white also something like this and then you can add the detail text here insert text add your detailed text here again reduce the size and i'm going to just put it next to this one if you want you can add the title also now i'm going to select this hold and select this also press ctrl g to group it and then press ctrl d to duplicate and wherever you want for example i want one here or you can just put one here press ctrl d bring it i want to put one here you can see here again ctrl d i'm going to put one more here ctrl d you can add maybe one more here or you can add up to your requirement whatever your requirement is you can just add that number that number of uh, the poles now now this is 1995 i'm just going to make this as 2000 this will be say 2005 
this is 2015 and this is 2020 say and then you can just select this one and change the color of your choice again go to format shape fill and just select maybe blue color here and i'm going to select this pole and press function key f4 so that it will repeat you can see here then i'm just going to select this one and change the color to maybe purple again this one i'm going to select f4 key so you can just uh, choose whatever color you like let me just make it maybe green this also f4 and then the last one i can just select whatever red or and f4 key so you can see here the i've changed the colors and if you want you can just change the background also you can just select the gradient fill and whatever best you can add the for example i'm just going to change the direction i want the here darker and this one i'm going to make it white you can see here and this also i'm going to select and going to make it more transparent so it will look something like this you can see here and once this is done you can just add the animation to it to add the animation let me just close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to select the first poll which is the 1995 and then go to add animation more intense effects and here i'm going to select stretch or whatever if you want you can just select the wipe also or you can just select which is simple let me just select wipe and click ok and this effect option from bottom only it comes something like this then i'm just going to select this click on the animation painter two times and then i'm going to click on 2000 again i'm going to click here this one and this one and press the escape key so if i just play this one you can see here 1995 2000 2005 2015 and 2020 so it's simple and if you want you can just increase the size also because 2020 should be more bigger you can just make something like this and if you want 1995 to be smaller you can just reduce the size and the font size also you can reduce it go to home reduce the font size so you can do uh, what are the minor changes if you want you can add the shadow effect also here That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.